As I have taught previously in this Keys of Creation video series, your body generates your experience. You generate experience by means of your body. If we know that, then we also know the vice versa. That is, nothing external to you is generating your experience. Nothing. We'll talk more as we go along in the series about methods of generation, but for now be clear about the location or source of generation, your body. The external surrounding you is a projection from a source, not a generative source. Since this is the case, then it follows that we can state this corollary. There are no external obstacles. If the external is not a generative source, that, then it includes that one of the things the external cannot generate is an obstacle. This is the good news and the bad news. The good news is that you don't have to wait for anything out there to change. You don't have to wait for anybody else's permission. It's you. It's something in the energy of your body, to be more specific. The bad news is, it's me. The obstacles are in me. Nothing out there can stop me, but I can stop me. I have to do me. Dang it, right? Oh no, I don't actually want to have to deal with myself. But that's also the good news. You can deal with yourself. You can deal with your own energy. I will continue to unfold methods as we continue in the Keys of Creation series. Any problem or obstacle you are experiencing is within your energy. As you heal your energy, adjust your energy, learn the laws and principles of your body's energy, then your experience is going to change. It may take a great deal of courage on your part to undertake the meeting of and dance with yourself, but it's possible. It's more than possible. It's how life works. Now, the second half of my point may be even more important than what I've asserted so far. And that is that I don't actually encourage you to think of life or of yourself and your body under the framework of obstacle. I say obstacle because a lot of us are already thinking that way. We have identified what we believe is binding us away from our ability and our joy. I find it better to speak of challenges and opportunities. There is a saying that I love that says that the obstacle is the way. Instead of thinking of obstacles and challenges and pain points as losses and as places to stop your life, think of them as places to start. Instead of taking them as a signal, as something you can't have or won't be, take them as signs that this is the way to go. That hiccup is your opportunity. That wrestle is your calling. That is the next gift you're going to have if you'll take that road. It's the blessing that's coming to you through the process you're going to go through through what you may initially consider an obstacle. An obstacle is just the table of contents for a real-time curriculum. And again, I'm telling you that process is not out there. Process will be within, with the way that you format your energy. To summarize, all obstacles are within the energy of your body. And the obstacles are not obstacles after all. They are the signposts of the path to your next blessing.